we were told to step aside. And I remember that evening, I wasn't aware, of, we did not know that my name was one of the names. And I remember that evening, as me and him discussing those names, or those people, particular people, or those people, and of course, the rumor mill had come out that Marian could be one of them. So he, in fact, is the one who told me, I hear your name is in the list. Where are you discussing this? In Kelechon. In your house? In your house. Thank you. Yes. So, of course, the following day, it was confirmed that my name was in the list. And through that process, he was supportive. Um, he would give moral support, say, don't worry, um, let the investigations go on. So, of course, we went through the PSC, through the rotating door, and uh, the morning before I went, I had a chat. After I left, we met for lunch. Uh, so, for even because I stayed there for about eight hours. So, it was a very long. Um, interview process at the ESCC team. So we met in the evening, and of course, we gave them the assurance that they all would be well. And we moved on. Um, the investigations continued, I think, the better part of the whole of that 2015. Even though it had been announced that we would be investigated for about 60 days, but it took longer than 60 days. Because I finally got my clearances, um, I think, around mid. Of 2016. Yes. You have said that this time we are facing a crisis. Yes. Who stood by you? Nikita Dutro. It is your evidence that he gave you the shoulder to lean on? Yes. At that critical moment. At that time. That is. At that time, he was still a boyfriend? Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Let's leave that. Let's proceed further. father. What else in the courtship was happening? that led you to be convinced that you would be married? So, um, as we went on, like, around June, uh, May, June of uh, 2015, yes. he actually talked, talked to me about, uh, talked to me out of going back to government uh, because of his investigations, because I think he must have helped me because he was taking a call on me. And we talked about it, and he said, since he had this business or this company that was not doing well at all, if I could go back and knew or he knew about my business acumen, he thought I could join him in his business. And I learned the business side of things as he continued to the politics because the politics and the business were not doing well together. So around June, July is when we thought about I going to this company, and that company is called Article Limited. Article? Huh? Yes. Huh? Article Limited. Article? Yes, A-O-T-I-C-O-N. It is, are you telling this court that it was with the car's view? You don't go back to that? Yes. Are you telling this court that he gave an option. Once you don't go to government, he gave you an option. <laughs> what option did he give? The option was I ran the business because we were now, we had our courting had gone to a level where we were thinking of marriage. Yes. So I ran the business and he does politics. Because he his does view, politics. Yeah, his view was that if we are both in the public line, that could affect our business. If I go back, of course, because I have been in the public limelight on corruption charges, that tag or that image will not disappear, will not go away. So I go back to private life and to continue with politics. What solution did they give you? You have said you had a company. Yes. What is the name of the company? Articon Limited. Articon Limited. Yes. So did you join the company? So I joined the company in August, because that was around June, July. Yes. At the same, at that time, the company was doing some work in uh, Narok, and uh, the work was 
for about 2.5 million shillings. My yes. Lord, again, I'm going to ask uh, this company is a separate and distinct entity from its uh, shareholders and directors. Uh, and whereas so far we see it will tell if we are getting about things we say about this company. If it's a company that has clients uh, within and outside government, within and outside Kenya, and uh, it will really be unfortunate. I'm only raising this because. I'm getting the impression we will start again just like uh, we were about to start yesterday saying salacious things about the respondent's daughter. Father, you're not, uh, it's evident that there are millions of court matters that are pending uh, on those issues. So to, to prejudice the matter that are still pending before uh, the law court and even the high court on the same side. Yes, mm -hmm. Mr. Where we have reached, I, I don't think we, we are, we are, he has crossed the line so as to put uh, the, the juristic uh, person in the name of Article Limited to distribute. We have not got it. has been said this company wasn't doing well, for instance. I mean, whether that is true or not, we may never know in these proceedings. And it's not even our business to know in this proceeding because there are other proceedings. I mean, no company wants especially televised hearings uh, saying that it was doing well or it was not doing well or it's done over all these billions and whatnot. Clearly, that's confidential information. And while I, I regret to be on my feet again, I must remind all of us the issue before you is whether these parties were married. All these, the testimony given so far since yesterday, perhaps only 0, 0.0 something percent of it relates to the marriage. But things that even if we were to take them to be true, they would not help this court. Unless the witness is just doing it as part of the repute inventing out, it would help all of us.